to stand up and talk about what Holy Trinity means to me. I said, sure. And then I, I started to write down a few things, and I just kept writing and writing and writing. And I thought, well, I, I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to say everything in three or four minutes. But um, I'm going to try and put it all together. There's been a lot in today's service already that have given me pause and thinking, well, I should say that, I should tie that in, I should, I should circle back to that. But let, so just bear with me and we'll see if I can touch on anything meaningful. But um, I've been coming to Holy Trinity for 20 years. Um, at, when I realized that, it just seems impossible because it seems like just yesterday. But um, Beth Ann was still an infant and um, I was transitioning from St. Luke's in Metuchen. It was a little bit far for me to go with uh, a new baby and a, an old baby and a bigger kid. And so um, I was looking for churches and I came here and immediately felt um, the warmth. And I have to say, I was welcomed by a sister Elizabeth who shortly thereafter recruited me to be on some committee or some professor, I don't know, and it was not long afterwards that I, I actually started my service to Holy Trinity. And, um, but I had been part of St. Luke's in various capacities, not nearly as much as this, but before that, I grew up in a parish in um, southeastern Pennsylvania, St. James in Aston, and um, you know, that's where my family went, and that's where my father and my mother both served on the vestry and sang the choir and did all kinds of things. And even before that, as a youngster growing up in New Hampshire, we went, we were part of St. Matthew's Church in Goffstown, New Hampshire. So I have a long history of potlucks and prayer books, as I like to say. Um, but overall, I would say that my, my background, I've always been aware of the need to serve the greater good and the role church in helping us to do that. So over the years, my um, I've been able to serve Holy Trinity in a variety of capacities, and um, I've been up here before talking about stewardship and all kinds of things, but um, I think for me, the personal journey that I've gone through while I've been here, of course, has, has taken over much of my adult life, so while my children have grown and they've been coming here, and I've try to show them ways to be good people, good citizens of the world. Um, Holy Trinity has provided them with the opportunity to do that, to be, um, to become aware of the world around them, the other people in the, in the world that are different from them, um, ways to serve them, um, ways to be leaders, ways to rake somebody's yard, um, all kinds of ways to be locked in and make phone calls and ways to bowl in the dark and all kinds of things. But um, I, I think that uh, my, my husband, who is now a man of Holy Trinity, he doesn't want to be a man of Holy Trinity, <laughs> 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 but he is. He's, he's been doing it to himself. Um, over the past uh, many years, um, my, my family has been a big part of Holy Trinity. Unfortunately, my, the rest of my family no longer attends church. I'm really the only one after all those, those years of growing up. So I do feel some, um, I don't know, I feel as though I have the, the obligation to, um, to my family. I know at some point they'll come back to the church. They'll need it. It's got to be here. Um, and I don't mean just Holy Trinity. I mean the church in, in general. It's got to be here for all the things that we all go through as human beings. Um, but right here in, in these four walls, I think we all need Holy Trinity for, um, for all the things that we've heard about today, for the, a place to come, to gather, to feel welcome, to think of ways that we can serve God's will in the world around us. Um, I, I always give credit to our founders, 160 whatever years ago, um, and the benefactors who built this beautiful, beautiful church and the campus around it. And I wonder, could we do the same today? If we were challenged to do that, if we had to build, if we had to create a church like this today, could we do it? I, I don't know. Um, but I do know that we are challenged to keep it going um, so that it's here when 
when my family needs it in the future, when your family needs it, when the world in general needs Holy Trinity to be here. We need to be here. And so when I'm considering my faith pledge, um, I know there's a million ways I could I could spend my money, but I know that when when I pledge to Holy Trinity, it's not only so that I can keep the lights on here, um, but it's so that we can be here to serve our community and to do God's will, whatever that may be. And whether that's through, you know, memorials for 9-11 or Hurricane Sandy relief or, or whatever, to celebrate the good and the bad, we all, we need to be here. So I'm considering that and um, I'm going to make a pledge that probably will um, prove difficult at times to me, but that's what it's all about and um, I, I, I urge you all to consider the same. And, Thank you for listening to me again, so. <laughs>